as I wait patiently, I'm going to share with you some things that I've learned after moving to Oklahoma. <laughs> the reason I'm filming this is my number one. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Stacey Hesser here, your favorite realtor in all of Southern Oklahoma. And I'm at the Walmart gas station, bringing you my number one thing that I've learned uh, after moving to Oklahoma. Oklahomans like to pull up to a gas pump and basically utilize it as a parking spot. I don't know, They're, I don't know where they go. They go into the convenience store, they go into the bathroom, they get food. I sometimes even think they go into the restaurant and have a sit down meal while pumping gas or just simply utilizing the space in front of the, the gas pump. So that's one of the things that I have learned about <laughs> after moving to the state of Oklahoma. I would love to hear if this is an issue where you're at, but it wasn't an issue where I came from. So this one's new to me. Other things I've learned after moving to Oklahoma is they call just about anything with four wheels a buggy. It could be a side-by-side. -side. It could be a really fast side-by-side -side that can go 90, and they're still going to call this thing a buggy. Do you know? It's almost insulting. I don't know. They call strollers buggies. They call uh, shopping carts buggies. These are all things that are buggies, but the side-by-side -side is something <laughs> that I don't think is compared to a shopping cart or a baby stroller. My side-by-side, -side, it kicks butt, man. It goes really fast, and people call it a buggy. They also call miniature golf putt-putt, and all I can say is it's very odd seeing some very masculine man uh, ask his beautiful date if they'd like to go out and play putt-putt. <laughs> it's miniature golf, y'all. I don't know. It's... it. it Anyway, more things that I've learned after living here a little while. They have something here which is actually kind of fun. So I I came from, in Alaska, we didn't have anything on this, nothing. In Florida, we did. We had hurricanes and they used to have hurricane parties. But here in the state of Oklahoma, because of the tornadoes and all of the sensationalized weather here, we have David Payne bingo. David Payne is a, a meteorologist here in Oklahoma. And when the storms are coming through, David Payne is all over the news talking about the weather and he's very passionate about what he does, which I appreciate. But he definitely has some very cer certain phraseology that goes along with all of this stuff and they've created a bingo board to go with this. Okay. That shot you're seeing is looking straight west. Yep. Yep, yep, no, great shot. That's the left side of the wall. I, and you know that, you're looking right at it. You're looking at the south side of the mesocyclone, which is right over. Mm. Oklahomans do not give a darn about the tornado sirens. If anything, it's a cue to them to go out to their front porch and go look. Not to get into their storm shelter, but just to go look. They want to go see if they can <laughs> they want to go see if they can see the tornado. Man, Oklahomans, that's that was like the the time that I truly knew that my mom was like assimilated into the Oklahoman way of life when the tornado siren would go off and she's just like if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Okay. <laughs> uh, deer are kind of an issue here. Um, luckily, knock on wood, we haven't had much of an issue with deer, but we have hit... <laughs> I say we haven't had much of an issue, but we have hit deer before. But I kind of liken the deer to um, just oversized glorified squirrels. Hey, that's... Insulting. They have the same behavior about seeing a vehicle coming and they're making eye contact with you and they're like, bring it on. Doesn't always work out well for the deer. That's really all I can say. <laughs> one of my, one of my good friends here, she grew up on a ranch, but she grew up on a small ranch. I finally asked her to quantify that. Like what's a small ranch in Oklahoma thinking 20 acres, 700. 700 acres was a small ranch for her. And so I was like, what's a big ranch? Over a thousand. I'm like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Different perspectives. 
I, this isn't just an Oklahoman thing, okay? This is really just a Southern thing, but sweet tea is really just glorified sugar water with a little bit of brown additive to it. It is shockingly sweet. So be prepared if you are here and you order any form of sweet tea. <laughs> Bless your heart. Oh my God. Don't ever get blessed your heart. You don't, you don't want a bless your heart. It seems like the sweetest saying in the world, but they're really just telling you you're an idiot. Please hang up and try again. This one's really strange. And I really, to this day, I just do not understand this one at all. Not all Oklahomans have an accent. And it's really surprising to hear people from a tiny town of like a few hundred and they still don't have an accent. But you'll get somebody from the metro and they have a really thick accent. Sometimes I feel like I have even more of an accent than others just from the little bits that I've picked up around here and people just never understanding how to say or spell my last name. It's six letters. It's six letters. An H-E-S-S-E-R and people misspell it all the freaking time. So I'm like, maybe it's my accent. I don't know, but I don't think I have an accent. But anyways, and I don't, I don't know. I, I tease that it's my Alaskan accent, but anyways, whatever. Oh, but what definitely does hold true, two first names. That's very much a thing here. So some people won't have accents, but they'll have two names. And sometimes I get a little confused, like, because I just, I don't, do I always call them by their both of the names or can I call them by one of the names or just by the initials of the two names? I'm never quite sure. Um, so if there's any kind of social etiquette that somebody could help me out with on that, please comment below. I would love to hear from you on that one. <laughs> help this girl out just a little bit. Oh, am I done? Oh, $110. Oh, that's a big yay. <laughs> this was a shocker to me. There's over 200 lakes here. When I thought of Oklahoma in the beginning, it was always about the Dust Bowl and how, I don't know, I just expected fields and ranches and just hardly anything else. But there is a ton of lake activity here. There's bass fishermen. They are serious about their bass too, boy. Uh, catfish. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of fishing going on here. 200 lakes in the state of Oklahoma. Another thing that I found very puzzling because I've seen the panhandle on the maps of America and it seems it seems pretty thick, right? I don't know. I, I, I just thought that it would be uh, more mileage from north south than it actually is, but it's a whopping 34 miles <laughs> to drive across the panhandle of Oklahoma and it's 166 miles long. So 34 miles wide, 166 miles long. There is a very strange, I, this one I kind of got into a little bit of a deep dive on because I was a little bit fascinated with this whole area of Oklahoma. Like how the heck did this even become a thing? But Texas didn't want it because they couldn't have it. Kansas didn't really want it because they weren't going to exceed their uh, longitude going across the states. And New Mexico didn't really want it either. So for literally decades, it was no man's land and it wasn't owned by anybody. <laughs> this was really dumb. I, oh, Oklahoma, get your poop in a group, man. If you pay your state taxes online, you have to pay a fee. Like, are you really wanting me to just mail in my taxes? Because I don't understand that at all. I feel I'm doing you a favor by filing online, but instead you're, you're punishing me for doing this by charging me a fee for filing. Whatever. I, it, whatever. Oh, I had the distinct pleasure of being at the state capitol when it was officially voted on that the state legume was going to be the soybean. I would love to hear about your experiences here and what you think are some strange things about the state. I, this stuff just makes me laugh. It, it, I find it highly entertaining. So please share your strange things that you've discovered here. If you want to know more, I actually have another video called Oklahoma Fun Facts that gives you some other little, <laughs> little things when I was a little fresher to the state. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoy this. I certainly did. Until the next time, you guys. Bye.